Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to write Android app code, including the unit tests using the Gemini AI tool in few minutes. So let's begin and let's create a new project. App and unit test. I'll do one thing. I'll just write Gemini on at the front. App and unit test code generation. And I'll click finish and wait for the environment to load it may take a while once the environment loads start this journey uh, tool over here and you can write a prompt say for example write a simple addition method for android java code let's see what it returns and whatever the method it returns we can use it uh, in this uh, our main activity so it returns a simple addition method just copy it over here or you can also do one thing you can just go to the point and press on this insert at cursor and it will insert the method over here as it is just as simple as that and now what we can do to test this in the layout we will use this text view to print our uh, output i will increase the size of this to 24 hp or why not 34? Yeah, and I'll go back to the Java code and over here in the on fit method, I'll create something called text view. Text view find view by id r dot id dot text view, and we can print the no, 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 the output of the below text view set text perfect. So here it's creating a new class and then calling that particular method. Or oh, what we can do is instead of making complicated of creating a new class, I'll do one thing. I'll just make this method as a part of this class itself and remove and rename the custom addition or add custom method. Yeah. And I'll use this control C control V and that's all so now let me try to run and see in the app how it comes up in the meantime uh, when the app is running it may take a while i'll go to the gemini itself again and over here i'll ask the unit test for this can you please provide unit test for the above so it may take a few moments to provide and that code we can put it over here in the if you expand this side this test one okay so here it already gives me a example unit test file so we can update this with the unit test whatever general provides so app is also coming up in emulator so let it come up i will toggle over here and it has provided me the unit test for this so if i see that it provides me the test scenario or test case for the method whatever we have used and it uses different scenarios like positive scenarios negative scenarios and zero so we'll do one thing we can just copy paste as it is this method of the test and over here i think one test case by default they give which will always pass it's mostly the assertion which will always pass and over here what they are doing is they are creating a simple addition class so if you have if you recall so what they did was they created a new class over here for this particular method so, but we will not be using the simple method we will use main activity itself so we will do one thing we will create something called as main activity here main activity perfect and we will be calling the method in the main activity but to initialize the main activity what we can do we can create something called at the rate before yeah this is what I need but we can okay Okay, it's asking me to import class, just press Alt Enter. And here this will also be fine, but we'll use something called as Robo Electric uh, Framework. So over here, I'll do one thing. Robo, okay, it's not coming up because most likely we have not included a dependency. So let me do one thing. Let me quickly go to the Gradle file. And over here in the Gradle file, let me include the respective dependency for this one. So here, uh, no, I don't need the implementation, but what I need is 
test implementation. Ah, perfect. I'm not sure how it was able to fetch the logo electric uh, thing. And let me see why it is giving error. Rename create extension property. Let me see if it's able to create. No, it's asking me to create a class. So we'll not do that. So basically, it should create a reference in this particular file, TML file. And if it's not there, so I'll do one thing. I'll directly define the complete uh, path over here of the logo electric. So what uh, the version will be is org dot yes i think this is the one or probably as far as i know this is the latest version 4.2.1 and if i press alt enter replace with new library catalog and click on sync now and it should work now so i can minimize this i can bring this up so let it uh, complete the syncing so it's syncing now and then we will go back to our code. So now it has synced completely. So if we go back to the Gradle file, it, that error should go back away and there should be an entry for global electric version in the libs.version.toml file. Now in the example file, let me quickly uh, test file, let me quickly complete this, the setup part. So here what we are, I'm trying to use is something called from the global electric Why it is not giving it? I'm not sure. Let me type complete. Ah, this is what exactly what I need. So if I come over here, I think it's expecting me to make it. Yeah, over here, run with. No, not with. Uh, I'm looking for Robo Electric Test Run class. This is exactly what I need. And uh, let me see if it's asking me to include this. Or enter, import the class. So it seems like it's not able to resolve. I think let me quickly check my Gradle file. Everything looks fine. Robo Electric. Okay, I think there is some problem here. It's not Robo Electric, but Robo Electric. Uh, I think I'll have to change this file as well over here and that's because everywhere i have put extra e and that's where it has taken i hope it works this time let me quickly sync and check so the file has synced now and if you i come over here now it's giving me an option to import a class just press alt enter and it imported the first one And here again, it's the same problem, global electric. Yeah, so now more or less this main activity is done. So now we can call that method in the main activity over here. So I have to just replace add custom method over here like this. So there is another one extra bracket which we can remove and that should be fine. Yeah. So we have to do nothing but we have to just replace this all over in this form all over the places and that's all. So bit of extra work is required because I changed the meta name locally uh, to suit my uh, requirement of this uh, method or my code but otherwise if you use as it is from the what the Gemini produces it will work as it is so I have run it first I okay now I'm running the app in the emulator so let me see how it comes up first so it seems like it's failing and I think I know why it's not starting I think what we should do as a better programming practice so we should add strings dot value so that we can convert the output which is in the integer form from this method to the respective string form. So now we can see three. Perfect. Now we can stop it. We don't need to keep it running. And I'll go to the unit test file. And over here, let me run and see. No. Just click over here, run it. And if it passes, it will change to a pass icon over here. So 
for both the cases it gives any error it will give an error and the details will be displayed down over here so let's wait for few seconds uh, so test completed but i can see it's giving error so let me go one by one uh, so it says resource not found except okay i think i got this uh, to solve this you should again go to your build file and over here uh, just our dependency i mean in this android tags add something called as sorry, test options and you need test include android resource true by default okay click on sync now it may take a while again come back here and run it again and let's see what happens this time most likely it should pass so there are two tests uh, so i'm expecting both to pass this is anyway it should pass by default yeah so if you notice both have passed here test pass too you can also export it uh, export the test results and you can open the test results in your browser so click ok and it will open the default browser whatever it is uh, google chrome or whatever and it gives me the complete picture so over here it's just two test cases it's showing uh, in a uh, yeah only two over here but if it's a long list it will show you the long list over here so that's all i wanted to show you uh, you can ask jemmy to do all the hard work however putting the code running the code is still uh, your job so jemmy will provide you the method which you can use in your java file it will provide you the respective uh, class uh, the test cases which you can use as it is with asserts and all and then run it get the results and you can show it to uh, present it in your uh, project so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and see you